Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to play the guitar parts from the classic Led Zeppelin song, Moby Dick. Now before we get started, it's important that you tune your low E string down to D. Alright guys, let's go ahead and jump on into it. Alright, here's section one, and remember, I've got the low E string tuned down to D, just like Jimmy Page did in the original song. Okay, let me play that slowly and then we'll break it up note by note. Now the first thing we're going to do is play that open E string, which is now tuned down to D. Then we're going to play the fifth fret of the A string. And you're going to play it again, but pull off to the third fret. So far. Then we're going to play the fifth fret of the low string, followed by the third fret and then vibrato. Then we're going to play the fifth fret of the low string again, followed by the third fret. And then one more time, the same thing. So here it is all together. Let me slow that down one more time. And we play that three more times, so a total of four times. Let's keep moving. Now in the second section, we're going to play this riff twice. Okay, so first we start with the fifth fret of the low string, followed by fifth fret of D, and then fifth fret of D again, pull off to the third fret. So far. And then fifth fret of the A string, and then first fret of the A string, vibrato. Okay, so far. And then we're going to play 3rd fret of A followed by 1st fret. And then one more time. Let's piece all that together. And that's played twice, okay? Alright, let's move to the next section. Now for the third rhythm section, we're going to play that same riff we started with. I'm going to play it twice, like this. Now I'm not going to walk through that one note for note again because we've already learned it, so let's move to the next part. Now with the fourth rhythm part, I'm going to break it up into three little subsections, but first let me play the whole thing all the way through at normal and then slow speed. So in the first box is where we do this. So first we're going to play the 7th fret of the low string, followed by the 7th fret of the D string, and then 7th fret D pull off to 5, so far, and then 7th fret of A, and then 7th fret of D twice, 7th fret of A, 5th fret of D vibrato, so far. And then 7th fret D, open fret D. Okay? That little open uh, D string there at the end, it's a little bit quieter in the mix, but it's there. So let me play that first part again slowly. Then in the second box, we're going to go. So what you're doing is you're going to slide up to the 5th fret of the D string and play it 5 times 
and then pull off to the third fret. And then fifth fret of A. Okay. Now in the third box, we're going to go. So first, you're going to bend up at the fifth fret of the G string and give it a little bit of vibrato. And then fifth fret of G, second fret, open string. And then third fret of D, vibrato. Now, if you want to skip the, vib the vibrato on that first bent note, you can. Most people do. But if you listen really closely to the original, you can hear it there. Here's the section one more time at normal and then slow speed. All right, now we get into what uh, you might want to call the guitar solo, but it's really more of the intermission there right before the drum solo where uh, uh, Jimmy throws in a couple of, uh, of blues licks. Um, but it starts off with the original riff we learned three times. All right, now we get to the first of the blues licks that Jimmy Page threw in there, and it goes like this. Here it is slowly. So first you're going to bend up at the 12th fret of the G string, followed by 10th fret of B, and then 10th fret B and 10th fret E together. Okay. Then you're going to play the 12th fret of the G, bend up and down, pull off to the 10th fret. Then you're going to play 12th fret of D, followed by 12th fret of G, 10th fret of G, 12th fret of D vibrato. So far. Right? And then 12D, 10D, 12D. And then 12G and 12B together. And then 10th uh, fret of G slide down. Now in the tabs, you can see I also tabbed the 10th fret of the B in brackets. It's kind of a ghost note. It's kind of slightly there. Uh, you can leave it out if you want. Here's this section one more time at normal and then slow speed. Now we play that intro rhythm riff another time before going into the next lick. And that next lick goes like this at normal and then slow speed. All right, so the first thing you're going to do here, and I see a lot of people, most people actually do this wrong, and I'll show you the alternate way that most people do it here in just a second. But the right way is to first of all fret the 13th fret of the high E. I use my pinky. You can use a different finger if you want. And then with another finger, I use my ring finger, um, play the 13th fret of the B string. So you're playing the two notes together, but you're bending up on the B string. Okay, so 13th fret of the high E stays still, but the 13th fret of the B gets bent up. And then while you're holding that bend, you hit the 13th fret two more times, okay? Now, a lot of times, instead of playing the 13th fret on the high E, people will do the 10th fret. So it'll be like this. Um, that sounds good. You know, it works within the context of the song, um, but that's not what Jimmy Page is doing. And I realized that after watching some live performances of him. Now, granted, Jimmy Page would improvise a lot live, but I could see every time he did that, he would do as opposed to, okay? Either way, I think you're gonna be fine, but this is the right way. Then you're gonna play that again, okay? Um, 13th fret on the high E, 13th fret on the B, hit both notes and bend up the B string. But then you hit the B, B string bent note three times, okay? So here it is so far. Then you're going to play the uh, 13th fret of the high E, bend up a full step. And then 10th fret, high E, 
10th fret B, 12th fret G. It's kind of like a reverse uh, sweep or rake. You do it twice. The second time you're going to do a uh, vibrato on the 12th fret and slide down, okay? Here's the section one more time at normal and then slow speed. All right, let's keep moving. Then we're going to play the second riff that we learned that goes like this. Now, with that part, um, you're probably going to leave out the last note in order to quickly move into the next part. So you're going to probably end up doing this. Okay, you're probably going to leave out that last note in order to do the next part. And let's jump to that next part now. Now this next part, we have this open string lick that goes like this at normal and then slow speed. Now let's split this in half and the first box is gonna go like this slowly. So you're gonna start on the high E string. You're gonna play the third fret Pull off to the first, pull off to the open string. Three, one, zero. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the B string. Three, one, zero. Then on the G string, we're gonna play four, pull off to two, pull off to zero. And then on the D string, third fret, pull off to two, pull off to open string. Okay? Now in the second box, we're gonna go like this slowly. It's going to start off the same, the first nine notes. So we're going to have three, one, zero on the high E string, okay? Three pull off to one, pull off to zero. And then three, one, zero on the B string, pull offs. And then the four, two, zero pull offs on the G string. All right? And then we're going to um, do third fret of D, pull off to two, pull off to zero. And then the same thing on the A string but it's a little bit faster. Those last six notes are a little bit faster than the notes before it, okay? Listen and play along with the original and you'll hear how Jimmy Page speeds up right there. Here's the section one more time at normal and then slow speed. All right, let's keep moving. Then we play the opening riff again before we move into another blues bass lick. Then here's that next lick. And I say bluesy, you know, it's pentatonic major. You could call it country-ish if you want, but it goes like this either way. So in that first box is where we play this. So you start by playing the fifth fret of the A string twice. And then seventh fret of A slide up to nine quickly. You don't want to linger on that seventh fret note like this. You want to go come out of it quickly. And then seven of D hammer on to nine. Then in the second box, we play this. So you're gonna play the seventh fret of the G string three times. And then ninth fret of G, slide up to 11 quickly. Again, don't linger on it. And then 10th fret B, 12th fret B. Then in the last box, we play slowly. So what you do is play the 10th fret of the high E, followed by the 13th fret of the B, bend up one full step, and then bend it up again with vibrato slide down. Okay. Here's the section one more time at normal and then slow speed. Now we 
go back to the third rhythm riff that we learned, this one. And it's the same thing, except at the very end, we're going to play open uh, E, A, and D, right? The bottom three strings. Okay. All right, after that, the song goes into the uh, lengthy drum solo. So, of course, we're going to skip that and go into the next section of guitar. All right, after that drum solo, we're going to play that main riff again. But at the very end, we're going to add um, the open E and D strings. Okay? Pretty simple, right? Let's keep moving. Then we're going to play the second rhythm riff we learned. But at the very end, add the fifth fret of the low string. Okay? Let's keep moving. Then we're going to play that third rhythm riff that we learned. All right, we're almost done. All right, now we've got the final three chords, guys. You've made it this far, you're almost done. So first we're gonna have a D power chord. Basically you're gonna have um, fifth fret of the A string with the seventh fret of the D and G. Okay. Then we're going to play uh, a C chord, third fret of the A, followed by fifth fret of D, G, and B strings. And then finally, an A chord, open A with the second fret of the D, G, and B strings. All right, that was my lesson on how to play Moby Dick on the guitar from Led Zeppelin. If you enjoyed it, I would appreciate a thumbs up, and please hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already. And if you have any questions or comments, Leave them down below, and I will attempt to answer them as time allows. Until next time, rock on.